Okay, we are working with long division of polynomials. So we've got this polynomial, and we want to divide it by this little guy, a little binomial here, x minus 3. A couple things I'd mentioned previous slide. Make sure your polynomial is in descending order. This one already is, so we're in good shape. Also, if there's any powers missing, add a 0 there as a placeholder. This one doesn't have anything missing. And so we're okay. We don't need to worry about that. So let's go ahead and set it up. So x minus 3 divided into 2x cubed minus 5x squared plus x minus 8. Notice very similar, just numbers, what we reviewed a couple slides ago with straight up long division. Now, here's what we do. Just this first guy, so how many times will x go into 2x cubed? How many times will x go into 2x cubed? Another way to think of that is uh, x times what would be 2x cubed? Well, that's going to be 2x squared. You'll see people do this different ways. I like to write it right above what I did. So if I did x times 2x squared, I would get 2x cubed, right? So now, we're going to multiply 2x squared through this whole thing, x minus 3. So 2x squared times x, 2x cubed, of course. 2x squared times minus 3 is minus 6x squared. Now, think about what we did when we did a straight-up long division problem a few minutes ago with numbers. Now we subtract. This is a big step. And I see people make silly mistakes here. So I like to go and actually change all my signs. So minus, take that through. That's going to change that one to a positive. So this first term goes away. It always will. Negative 5x squared plus 6x squared. Oh. So x squared is left behind. And then bring that next one down, right? So plus x. Now go through the process again. Keep going. So x into x squared, or in other words, x squared divided by x, or x times what would give me x squared? Well, that's going to be x. So plus x, and repeat the process. So now we're going to multiply x through x minus 3. So x times x, x squared, and x times negative 3 is minus 3x and subtract. Again, I go through, change all those signs. I would encourage you to do that. It's easy to write a minus here and you'll subtract that and you'll forget that one's changed and you won't do it. So be careful with that. x squared minus x squared goes away. x plus 3x is 4x. Now we're almost done. We still got another one though. So bring it down. You don't have to draw the arrows. I'm just doing that to help illustrate here. So minus 8. And let's keep going. x into 4x. Well, that'll go 4 times, right? x times what is 4x? Well, it's 4. So plus 4. And now multiply it through. 4 times x. 4x. 4 times negative 3 is negative 12. And subtract. Remember, change those signs. 4x minus 4x is 0. Negative 8 plus 12 is 4. Now we can't go any farther. x won't go into 4. So 4 is our remainder, and we're going to write it like this, though, because we're in a college algebra class and we're fancy. We're going to write plus 4 over x minus 3. And there is the solution. That's long division of polynomials.